What's up everybody? Today I'm going to give you a little tip, a little trick, a little insight, a little maybe paradigm shift that's going to help you sell more stuff online a lot easier or maybe help you get started with selling things online a lot easier. A big issue I see with people online is they're not clear about what it is they actually sell or how they can actually help somebody. Let's say they're offering coaching and I say coaching for what? And they say, oh, I just help people improve their lives. Like, well, it's very general to improve a life. And they say, oh, well, I actually want to help people get happier. Well, even the thing about happiness is it's very subjective. Like one minute you're happy, one minute you're not. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot harder to sell things that are subjective and kind of just like general and airy-fairy as opposed to being very specific. So, so some examples of things that are very specific. Weight loss. The reason I think the reason the weight loss industry is so booming and will always be booming is because it hits on something that people really want. Right? They really want to lose weight. And... This is the kicker. It's objective. So we'll put WL weight loss. The thing about weight loss is you can be very objective, very specific with the result you're going to help somebody get. If I tell you I'm going to help you lose 10 pounds, you know exactly what I can help you with. I'm going to help you lose 10 pounds, right? It's amazing. Another example is with, um, with, let's say, um, let's say with fitness. Okay. I want to help you with fitness. And if I just say, oh, I'm just going to help you with fitness, it's very general. I want to help people improve their fitness. You're, you're nobody. You're just, you're just part of the masses. You're not, you're not standing out at all. It's very hard to sell someone on fitness. But if you say, I'm going to help you run a three-hour marathon and get your marathon time around three hours, now you know I'm the guy to go to for a three-hour marathon. Right? So three hours. It's measurable. Another great thing for fitness is like rather than like an hour of running or three hours of running or whatever, you can just be like, I'm going to help you. Be able to do 10 pull-ups, you know, so pull-ups. You can either do 10 pull-ups or you can't. It's, it's night and day, black and white. You can see it. You can measure it. It's, it's objective as opposed to just saying, I'm going to help you get your upper body stronger. And when you stand out like this and you be very objective, like, I'm going to help you lose 10 pounds or I'm going to help you do pull-ups, it gives people a clear image of what exactly they're going to get from you. And when you're marketing your stuff, it's all about being very clear on how you can help people get the thing that they want. So in this case, the thing I want you to get is more sales. I want you to be able to make a full-time income online, ideally at least $10,000 a month online. And this is how you're going to do it. Not by going to the weight loss industry, not by going to the fitness industry, but you can if you want. But whatever it is you're selling, whether it's self-development or whether it's nutrition or whether it's with relationships, have an objectively, clearly defined goal for your client, for your customer. So there are really only three types of markets out there, okay? The three types of markets are as follows. I don't know which market you're in. It doesn't really matter, but we'll talk about all three of them right now anyway. There's the health market. There's the wealth market. And there's the relationship market. Any product or any service you buy or anything you sell is going to fall into one of these Three markets, three core markets. So with health, you have things like uh, weight loss. You have things like fitness. You have things like nutrition. Now, if you just say, I'm in the health market, I'm in the health niche, then you're, you're nobody, right? You're nobody. But if you say, oh, I'm in the uh, nutrition market, it's like, okay, that's very specific. This person knows about food. But even the nutrition aspect, it, in the, the nutrition zone, is just too big of a zone. So then from there, you say, oh, I'm into vegan nutrition. Okay, even then, it's, it's, it's a lot better. You definitely stand out as the, the, the vegan nutrition expert. But how can you niche out one step further into your own blue ocean where there's no competition? It's just you. So for me, for example, my step down was I wasn't just a vegan nutritionist on YouTube. I was a fruitarian triathlete. So I was like the fruitarian triathlete. And there was no one else doing fruitarian uh, no one else as a triathlete who was for Taryn when I was cranking out these videos, so it was easy for me to stand out and really easy for me to help people um, be, for, be a fruitarian as a triathlete. And that was my whole thing. It was like, I can help you do triathlons. I can help you accomplish triathlons, finish triathlons, eating a fruit diet. You want to do an Ironman? You want to do an 11-hour race eating just fruit? I can help you do it. So that was my whole result I was helping people get. It was very clear on very specific about what I could help people with. Right? And so when it comes to the wealth thing, wealth, wealth, it's about money. So if you're helping people with money, how much money do you want to help them get? How do you want to help them get that money? What path do you want to use to help them get it? So with me, it's like I want to help you make a full-time income, $10,000 a month or more, with ebooks, coaching, and courses, and retreats as well if you want. But 
that's the whole wealth thing. You've got to be very, very specific about what you want to help people get. It's not just more money. You can say that, but it's way more helpful to say exactly how much money and how. So what's the, what's the path, what's the tool that you're going to use as well? So for me, for example, it's like I'm going to have you be a triathlete using a fruitarian diet. Um, and I also did a lot of videos about like how to clear your acne using a fruitarian diet. So not just another guy helping people with acne, but I'll help you clear your acne with fruit. Very, very specific and very, very helpful. It's how I was able to stand out and make a name for myself. With relationships, it's like, oh, it's not, like, I'm just going to help you be more attractive. Eh, like, being attractive, that's not the end goal. The end goal is to actually get dates. The end goal is to get more swipes on Tinder. The end goal is to hook up and lose your virginity, right? The end goal is to have a... The end goal of relationships maybe is to have a marriage that lasts forever, like a marriage that lasts a lifetime. So if you just say, oh, I help people with relationships, it's much more powerful to say, like, I help people with polyamorous relationships, or I help marriages uh, stick together for life, or I help, um, I help you get your ex-girlfriend back, your ex-boyfriend back, as weird as that may sound. But it's important to be very, very specific. So not just saying I help people with relationships, but help them in what aspect? Maybe it can also be like, I help people um, transition to veganism together with their girlfriend or boyfriend. Or I help you um, attract a girlfriend even if you're vegan. Or whatever it is. Like, it's important to be objective. It's important to be specific as opposed to just being very broad and general and airy-fairy about what you help people with. Um, so that's it. I hope this video was helpful. It, it's, uh, it's just something to come back to and remind yourself on a regular basis. If you find yourself not attracting enough clients... Perhaps it's because you're not specific enough about what it is you're offering. All right? If you guys want more information about how I make all of my money online and how you can make your money online as well, you can click the link in the description of this video to get free access to my masterclass where I walk you through how exactly I did it and how you can do it as well. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you at the Canada Vegan Fest this summer. Ciao.